China's northeast region is the country's top grain producer, and heavy use of fertilizers and pesticides has also contributed to the pollution of that region. CCTV's Guan Yang filed this report. China is the world's largest grain producer. Despite only having 7 percent of the world's arable land, its crops feed over one-fifth of the world's population. But in recent years, efficiency has dropped as reliance on chemicals has increased. Still, farmers say they do not have other options. Back in the 80s, we would normally apply 30 to 60 kilograms of fertilizer per acre of land. Now we use seven to eight times more, but the overall crop output has only doubled. I can't imagine what the yields would be without fertilizer. Farmers, particularly in northern China, reportedly use 40 percent more fertilizer than recommended, resulting in about 10 million tons of fertilizer every year being discharged into water, polluting nearby rivers and lakes. The majority of farmers have very limited knowledge on how to apply fertilizer in a scientific way. They just use these chemicals however they feel, or as they always have. As long as the yields can be assured, they don't have any other concerns. So exactly how serious is the problem? Figures from the Chinese Academy of Agricultural Science show that in half of China, the average level of nitrogen fertilizer used exceeded the internationally accepted limit of 225 kilograms per hectare. The European Union has set strict rules and regulations on what types of chemicals and how much of them can be used on farmlands. By comparison, China has long been working on the soil pollution prevention law aimed at legislating the use of fertilizers and pesticides, but there is still no sign of it being approved. High yields require plenty of nutrition, but most soil in China isn't fertile. Experts say fertilizer is the most direct way to provide the necessary extra nutrients. So exactly how to cut down the excessive use of fertilizer while at the same time ensuring the food security for 1.3 billion people is a tough issue ahead. Guangyang, CCTV, Liaoning Province.